back to my channel sorry if i sound a bit bunged up today but i have got a little bit of a cold but we will jump straight into the video nonetheless and i will get through it for you so today we are going through march's birch box this month is all about mindfulness and i just love the look of this box doesn't it look fab even the back has a bit of a design on there but i think this looks really really nice and uh, some good treats inside this box today so let's have a look at my little booklet just here it says on the front be present not perfect which I think is very nice because everybody's always on a mission to be perfect when you shouldn't have to be so it says in here this month we are championing the importance of me time and the art of self care yes it's time to look after number one and that's you after all mindfulness is all about being fully in the moment pulling free from pressure to always push harder and strive for perfection step one take time and sit back and relax with five beauty treats picked to help you look and more importantly feel great sound perfect for what I need especially when I'm feeling a bit under the weather now after last month's uh, box that I showed you where I had tried out a few items I did ask if you would prefer me to try them out in preparation beforehand to tell you whether they're good or not in my personal opinion and the answer to that was yes from your comments so thank you if you gave a comment about that so this month I have tried all of the items in the box so I'll be able to tell you what I think of them rather than doing it as a mystery reveal so that I have a bit of insight into these products which I think is a bit helpful so first up we are going to go for this one here now this is the black face mask this is the one that I got to choose last month you could either have eye masks or you could have the face mask and I chose for the face mask I've seen so many of those videos about the charcoal face masks that are really painful to pull off and stuff and but they work really well so I went for that one to give it a go it says here it's a peel off mask and the RRP is for £14 Stressed out skin, when pores are clogged, blemishes are appearing and your complexion is generally looking tired. This charcoal mask will draw out toxins and purify. First cleanse with a warm cloth to open up your pores, then apply even an even layer and wait for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now for the fun bit, slowly pull off in an upward direction to reveal a happy healthy complexion. So, I gave it a go. I put it all on, I left it on there until it was dry so that was the 20 minutes and I peeled it off and you know what it wasn't painful at all so the videos that I'd seen with painful ones I don't know if it's a different kind of mask it probably is but this one was not painful at all and it did do it did do a good job my skin did feel good after using it but I wouldn't say that it was completely effective I think that it was there was enough in the bottle to do your whole face there's a tiny bit left in there which was good so it was definitely enough to try and put on it was a thick enough layer but I still feel like after I peeled it off it didn't really take off everything so could be better but it's not the worst one that I've tried so it was it was good and I was impressed with it but I feel like there is probably some out there that are maybe even a bit better than that so it's kind of mid-range so it's not the worst I've had so it was okay so I was happy to have that in my box and to give myself a little bit of a face boost which is definitely needed at the moment so next up I will go for the one that was my favorite item that I was really excited about that I'd seen on Twitter if you I saw it on my Twitter so why don't you go over and check out my Twitter page I've also got an Instagram page I'll put the links in there at the below so you can go check them out um, this one is what I saw and this is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara so this one is a little tiny one uh, it's RRP for £21.50 but I know they do a smaller size which is a £10 one so if you're not fully ready to go for the big price one then maybe try out the £10 one which is the smaller one which is closer to this size so you can give it a go and try it out. It says here prepare for a lash lift with this new thickening mascara its gravity defying formula contains aero particles commonly found in astronaut spacesuits to deliver volume with lightweight lift in every swipe this special slim patch brush is molded to catch every single lash from corner to corner just wiggle it from the roots to the tips for an impact look that will last up to 36 hours now i must say that it does have an interesting brush if i show you here it is very very long and pointed at one end and sort of bigger at the other end and it's sort of a prickly brush and it does cover quite a lot of your lashes so it is it does say what it is on the tin for that one and you do definitely get a good coverage with it um, it's definitely blacker than black and it stays on there for a very long time I must say that by because of that 
it is difficult to get it off and it does clump a little bit towards the end of the day but for a good look and an effective pow of just oh my gosh lashes it definitely works for that and I was quite happy with it so I will continue to keep using that one but yeah it does take a little time to get that one off so it may be worth thinking about that if that's what you are happy to put yourself through each day as you take it off but other than that yeah I did really like it and I think it was a good product and you know it wasn't as good as all the hype was making out so don't always get fooled by that but it is a decent product and I'm happy to use that in my everyday Next up we have this one here which is pretty much all in French so it is called Absolution and it's got French and then it's got English written underneath it on the packaging in these sorts of squarey bits but this is a cleanser so the RRP for this is £26 uh, feeling sensitive we've all been there wave goodbye to redness and tight skin with this natural cleanser infused with chamomile white willow and oat proteins it generally gently removes makeup and dissolves impurities without causing irritation simply massage into wet skin then rinse away to reveal a smooth complexion that's comfortable to the touch now I gave this a go I have put it all on it's got a strange smell to it, it's not unpleasant, but it's just a different smell. It reminds me of something that I can't put my finger on, but I definitely have smelt something similar to it. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting smell for sure. I put it on, it worked really nicely, it foamed up a little bit, it was good to cleanse. And to be honest with you, my skin did feel really good afterwards. My skin was tight and not but un not uncomfortably tight, like it was, it was like firm, let's put it that way and it was really smooth especially on my nose I really whacked that in because I usually get problems there but yeah it came out really smooth really comfortable and I was happy with the look that it gave it didn't really take too much of my redness away but other than that I did feel like it was really good and I I would continue to give that one a go and give it more of a try but yeah I did really enjoy using that one so I was quite happy with that Next up we have the R & Co uh, Badlands Dry Shampoo Paste that's this little boy here now this I couldn't really get on with. I tried and it's just really weird. It's like jelly inside, like a clay, and that dent that's in it is me trying to get it out. It just sort of, it's like putty, it doesn't really come off. It just sort of sinks in the pot. So you have to kind of scrape a bit out. And it smells kind of nice. It's weird, but it's nice. I kind of like the smell of it. But I just couldn't get on with it. I tried it, I put it in my hair, and it didn't really do a lot. So I don't know really what to expect with one of those because I've never tried it before but I wasn't really blown away by it. His RRP is £22, says dry shampoo isn't just a good idea for days when you're in between hair washes, it's the ultimate hack to achieve the coveted bed head look. The paste is formulated with Hawaiian volcanic ash to keep your scalp clean and balanced with coconut and sunflower seed oils to add shine. Just rub a small amount between your fingers and work through to give a second day hair a serious upgrade. So yeah, I did give it a go, I think I maybe need to keep trying it and see what I can get out of it but first impressions were not really that great but you know after a few tries maybe I may change my mind I will always give it a fair shot but on a first impression level not too impressed and last up we have got this foam shower gel from rituals um, this one is the ritual of Sakura celebrate each day as a new beginning a little bit goes a long way with this and this is the full size is RRP is £4.50 it says here, showers can be just as relaxing as a soak in a tub, you just need the right products. This luxurious gel is infused with sweet smelling cherry blossom and organic rice milk to soothe your skin and calm your mind. Transforming into a thick, lathering foam on contact with water, it provides a skin softening clean with hydration that lasts all day. I gave it a go. It's got a very interesting smell. I'm not sure it's a smell that I particularly like, but other people may do it's kind of uh i find words with like oriental scents are not quite my thing um i've tried some other things from mandara spa that were oriental scented and it just didn't sit with me it's just personally not to my taste but it is quite nice and i'm sure other people will really enjoy this as a foam as well it does work really well so i was impressed with the product itself just not in love with the scent really but yeah it was good and it was a nice little can that goes a long way so I do like the fact that it's tiny and you can get a lot out of it so really happy with that so that's everything that was in my March Birch box I have enjoyed for the most part most of those items I was excited to see a big name like Benefit come into my box which was really exciting and a complete different range of products this time 
no makeup other than the mascara but I do think that was a very big brand to come into the box so I was very excited to see that very excited and next month our sneak peek is to choose your own model curl baked highlighter you can have one in froze or moonshine so these are the two colors I'm swinging towards moonshine the more orangey one I think that might be nice to give that one a go I don't think I've got any other ones that are in that kind of color but I've really enjoyed that box and I hope you have too. Don't forget to give me a comment down below on what your favourite item for this month is and if you have any other suggestions of things that you'd like to see from me soon. So thanks for watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!